Howdy ho, good neighbors. Oh, that's so stupid. Howdy ho, good neighbors. This is Jake J, and I'm here doing another Field Notes for Play Fallout 4 edition. Today we'll be talking about VATS in Fallout 4, a holdover from previous games that could use some real updating. First, a crash course in VATS. VATS stands for Vault Tech Assisted Targeting System. It allows the player to slow down time to better plan out their attacks. VATS was introduced in Fallout 3, where it actually stopped time and was likely intended to appease fans from the previous two games. In Fallout 1 and 2, battles were turn-based and you were allowed to attack specific body parts. Since Fallout 3 was in real time and attacking specific body parts would be a difficult mechanic to implement, VATS was the compromise. For the most part, VATS worked in Fallout 3 like it said on the tin. Real-time shooting is largely based on what your reticle is pointing at at the moment but VATS allows the stats to take over. Just point at a body part, and if you have good enough stats and good enough luck, you'll hit them. However, in Fallout 3, the mechanic stopped time, and that was considered by many as cheating and or immersion breaking. Fallout New Vegas addressed this first, and Fallout 4 has carried that over. Time now slows to a crawl when VATS is activated. Slowing time has proven, in a lot of ways, a better design choice. VATS no longer allows you to relax. You have to make your choice quickly, but you're given more time to do so. When you're in a panic state or you're surprised by an enemy, activating VATS can give you a chance to regain awareness of the situation. But again, you can't just stop and think it all over. You still have to react, just with more time to do so. The biggest benefit to both enemy and player is that targets continue moving. You might be planning your shot, but once you make your choice, the enemy has ducked behind a wall and now you have to change your strategy entirely. Or, perhaps you plan your shot well in advance, you activate VATS while the enemy is unable to shoot, and as soon as their head pops up, you confirm the shot. I have my issues with it though. VATS seems like a mechanic that should aid lower level players. But it doesn't really, because your stats aren't likely sufficient to make many of the shots you take in VATS. You can also use VATS to find partially hidden enemies or mines, which seems like an unintended buff, although maybe not. That said, there are two larger issues I have with Fallout 4's VATS mechanic. First are the elements which force you to waste time when it's not really necessary. For example, when you queue up a number of shots and you decide that you need to cancel out of them, you need to back out of each one individually and the time spent doing so can really add up. There's also the death blow camera, that angle that shows an up close and personal shot of the enemy that you're currently shooting, blowing up, or bludgeoning to death. That's cool, but those are valuable seconds wasted and can sometimes cause a pretty substantial loss of life. The problem with either of these situations is the loss of time and therefore an increase in vulnerability. In other words, if an enemy attacks you because they approach you from behind or they come at you quicker than you expect, then you have the ability to react to that situation. If an enemy attacks while you're canceling cued shots or watching a ghoul's head explode, there's literally nothing you can do about it. And in some cases, that might be the difference between life and death. The second issue is with control predictability. Sometimes the navigation keys don't function as you'd expect when choosing a target. Sometimes you're trying to click on one enemy, but those clicks are registering on a different one. Sometimes you're cycling through available enemy targets, and suddenly you're targeting a wandering NPC. In all three of these scenarios, you have no way of predicting that targeting will behave this way, and you lose time correcting. These are all situations where you, like the examples earlier, lose time and make yourself more vulnerable to attack. The issues I've described are probably not new. However, if they were in Fallout 3, these issues would not be a problem. They would just be annoying glitches. They didn't affect gameplay because the loss of time didn't actually affect the outcome of a battle. In Fallout 4, they do affect the outcome. And since the game focuses more heavily on gameplay, I am far less likely to use VATS for fear that one of these issues might cost me the fight. I really only have two suggestions on how to fix these problems. The first is a complete redesign. Reconsider how VATS functions currently, what purpose it serves, and decide what purpose it should serve. Then start over. 
If I'm honest, the Fallout 4 VATS mechanic feels like the Fallout 3 VATS mechanic with a few minor adjustments, and so this sort of redesign makes a lot of sense. The second solution is to just get rid of it. The direction of the Fallout series is drastically different from the original games, and this mechanic probably doesn't apply anymore. Replace it with a mechanic that will better address the problem that VATS was originally meant to solve, if you like. But I don't know if VATS fits quite as well in Fallout 4. I don't honestly have any clue how many people actually use VATS anymore. I was once a staunch supporter of VATS, but I find myself using VATS less and less the more I play Fallout 4, because the pitfalls you can run into are too strict of a deficit of play. If I die in Fallout 4 because I did something wrong, that's on me and I'm okay with that. But if I die because VATS made me watch a robot explode while a different robot was sawing my head off, well, I'm gonna be a little sore about that. All right, friendos, that'll do it for today. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, do you like VATS the way it is? Do you use VATS a lot? Do you have any suggestions on how to fix it? Because I gave basically none. Put all that stuff, including questions or comments for me in general, down there, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Okie dokie, good neighbors. <laughs> it's still so stupid. If you like the work that I'm doing, please hit that subscribe button. That'd be great. I will talk to you folks soon. I'm not going to throw it this time. Bye.